locus. In this video, we are going to focus on mixed examples. You will find this on page 419 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 48. In the diagram below, two points A and B are joined by a line segment AB. On the diagram, draw the locus of all the points that are 2.5 centimeters from the line AB. Now, it's very important, let me just show you, to first memorize this. So if it's one point, the condition, then indicating by one alphabet letter, capital, then it will, the locus will be a circle. If it's one line, two alphabetic let, alphabet letters, capital, then it will be two parallel lines. Two points, A and B, can you see there's an and between the A and B, then it will be the perpendicular bisector, the loci. And then the condition two lines, which will be indicating by A, B and B, C, that will be bisecting the angle. So it's very important to first, let's just show you. So let's just highlight 2,5 centimeters from the line A, B. So from the line A, B, so that will be the parallel lines. And I'm going to write here. Okay, so the loci will be parallel lines. So, um, so on the don't draw the locus of all the points that are 2,5 from the line A, B. Now, just remember, that's the line, but on A and on B, that's a point. And a point, a point will always be a circle. So basically, I will go 2,5 with my ruler, make two uh, dots, draw the line, but there I put my compass on 2,5, make the circle until it connects the parallel line, put your compass now there, make the circle, and that will be your loci. So now, on the same diagram, using a straight edge and compass only, construct the locus of the points that are equal distance from A and B. Now, A and B, two points, A and B, that's the perpendicular bisector. So let's just underline, equal distance from A and B. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to put my nail of my compass there, put it more than a half, make an arc to the side arc, put it there, arc, arc, and then draw your perpendicular bisector. So this will be my perpendicular <coughs> bisector. Okay. Then shape the region which contain the points that are closer to A than to B, closer to A than to B, and are less than 2,5 from the line. So it must be on this side, and it must be less inside, and you only shape where both conditions will be true. So only shape the region where both statements are true, and that's why it's this part. Okay, I want you to um, stop the video and I want you, I just want to go to that page, I want you to do number two and three. Okay. Okay, I think let's start first with number two. So I just think in this case, due to my example, you can work on two centimeters but my closest is 4.8 on my instruments, on this um, Wacom. So I have to work with 4.8 and I'll see if this works out. And I'm going to work with this. So let's start. Using straight edge, let's just get the ruler, and compass only construct the locus on point inside. This is very important. So the construction lines can be on the outside, but the loci must just be on the inside, the, which are 4,8 from P. So I will go to my compass. Mm, let's just find my instruments, applicants. 
here it is and my closest that it can is four comma eight okay so i'm going to move this i'm going to put it at p and i'm going to draw my line and it's just the inside so i have to stop i think yours will be a little bit different but you can look in the teacher's guide for the correct answer okay equal distance from k and s now if you remember the previous video if it's so let's just write here that was a circle two points will be the third bendicular bisector okay so in this case so i'm just going to now see if i can put it here if i can draw the perpendicular bisector um, i want to just change the color because this is now first just construction lines Um, let's just get the compass again. Let's just move it to 11 to K. Okay, so the construction lines can be outside, but very important, as soon as I draw the loci, which I'm going to do in red, then it must just be the inside. So I think I'm going to use my ruler now, because otherwise I'm going to struggle. So let's just go there. Um, let's just find my instruments. Um, Oh no, I'm struggling with this. Okay. Um, applications. Let's just see if I find the ruler. So, because I want to show you to put the ruler. I know here is the ruler. I'm just missing it now. Here it is. So if I'm going to use this ruler, okay, I have to now put it here. Okay, I'm just moving it so that it's 100% on that intersection. Okay, I think that's good. Then I take my ruler and I'm going to use my color, red, it's my ruler, and I'm just going to draw, oh, I just want, want it red. Okay, now remember, sorry, you can only mark the inside and you have to extend it there. So it's like you put your ruler there, but you only draw the loci on the inside. Very, very important. Okay. Okay, and then let's go on. Um, let's just find that. Okay. Uh, equal, equal distance from PQ and QR. So let's just find this. Okay, and now I'm going to again, it's PQ and QR, so it's this angle that I will bisect. Again, my construction lines, okay, I'm going to just, not to confuse, I will make it blue now, but the loci I will still do in red.
Oh, I think it's going to be quite a lot of lines now, but it's all right. Okay, because now I even have to move my page a little bit down. Now I'm going to take this. Okay, and now I'm going to put it on that line. There where it intersects. And I'm going to do it at this. Moving it to this side. And I'm going to move it like this. And then I'm again going to take, luckily, I think in this case it was all right because it's there, the ins and remember the Loki is just the inside. So if I put my ruler there, okay, let me all start on this side. Okay, so just make it from there up to there, and that bisects the angle. Okay, and that's how we do it. So the Loki will be the red lines, and the construction lines was the green and the blue. Please don't clean it, don't rub it out. Okay, just leave it like that. Okay, let's do the last one, number three. Um, I think I'm going to again struggle a little bit with my instruments. So let's see if I can do it, otherwise I'm going to leave this one. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to discuss this one and you can do the uh, drawings. So in this one, copy the diagram, you copy it, construct the locus of points inside the triangle, which are 3,5 from B. Now remember, 3,5 from B, so that will be a point and that will be a circle. So at B I'm just going to put my compass on three and just the inside. No, I don't make the whole circle, just covering the inside. Equal distance, equal distance from AC and BC, AC, AC and BC so it's bisecting this angle. So let's just see um, what will be the loci. So it's, um, I just want the color. So this was one point. So this is going to be two lines, two lines. And the loci will be no, um, bisecting the angle. So I'm going to cut, cut cut, cut, and bisect that angle. Then shape the region. Okay, now um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to enlarge that one and see if I can quickly show you that shading. So in this case, let's see if I can do it because otherwise it's going to be too small. So just for mine, yours is going to differ a little bit. It's a bit more difficult with this instrument. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a bit bigger, just that you have the idea. I'm going to make it in white. So let's just make it bigger. So it was like this. And then it was like this. And it was like this. Okay, and that would have been A, B, C. And now I'm going to make change this because I, otherwise it will not work out 4.8. That's the smallest my compass can be go. So if I make it 4.8 and it's at B, so I'm moving it to B. this. 
Okay, let's just see if I can, because I have to move it exactly. Mm, I discovered something. Okay, so that will be it for point eight. And then equal distance from AC, AC and BC, so it's this angle. Um, let's just redo this one. Okay, I just want to make it in red. I prefer the Loki now in red because I did it every time in red. So let's keep to the red and the construction in another color. Okay, so I'm going to move this now and I'm going to move it up to here. And I'm going to make my construction in other colors. And so I'm going to move it. I like it now that I discovered that. It's helping me quite a lot. And I'm moving it. And then I'm going to move it to that point okay so let's just move it here and we move it to this point <coughs> And then we're going to just take a ruler. Yeah, we have to take a ruler, otherwise we will struggle. <clears throat> and now we're going to move this also. And now we are just going to make that Loki um, and then we're going to do it in red. Okay. And then it's going to be like this. And now let's just see. Shape the region inside which is more than 3,5 from B and nearer to BC than to AC. So in my sketch it will be this, but be careful it can be different in yours. So in this case um, it's going to be more, so this is more, so it's all that area, um, but nearer to BC, nearer to BC, so it's going to be this. Show you now again. Because that's more, but it must nearer to be. You only shade with both statements or conditions will be true. And that's your final answer. Remember, yours can differ a little bit because you're working with a smaller and smaller values here. So it can be that it's a little bit different. <coughs> 